everyone. In this video, I'll be showing how to use your Palomar email. First, let's find it. Let's access it. Open a web browser. I recommend using Google Chrome. I'm going to open a new tab. Go to the Palomar College website. Go to the home page. Click here. Now I'm on the Palomar College website. Scroll. Scroll means go down with your mouse. Scroll down to the bottom. Here you can find a link to the student email. Click on the link. Type your Palomar email. Make sure there are no spaces. Remember to make the at, you click shift and two. Check that there aren't any spelling mistakes. If it's spelled incorrectly, you can't enter your email. So it's important to make sure you type it correctly. Click next. Enter your password. It's the same password you use for My Palomar and Canvas. Click Sign In or Enter. And now you're in your Palomar email. I recommend bookmarking this page. Put it in your books bookmarks bar so that you can find it easily later. So this is my bookmark for my Palomar email and I just click here and it takes me there. That way I don't have to do the steps again. Let me show you your email. The first thing you'll see is your inbox. These are the messages received that people send to you. If you click on each one, you can read it here. This one's from the Star Tutoring Center with information about tutoring. You can read it. There's also, you might, some emails might have an attachment. You could click on it to see what the attachment is. This one has information or the schedule with, with the tutoring. I see on Monday um, there's ESL tutoring from 12 to 4.30 and 8.30 to 11 and 1.30 to uh, 2 and 5 to 6. So you can read this. Um, and then if I'm done, I'll close it and go to the next one. And that's how you read your email. If you don't want this e email anymore, you can delete it. You can click here to delete it. Okay. If you change your mind, you can always go to the deleted folder. <laughs> it's not gone forever. Maybe this one I'll delete it. If it's an important email, you can flag it and it'll have that red flag. That's your inbox. The sent box is when you send messages to people, um, you, you get a copy of that. So these are the messages I sent. 
draft is when you start an email but you didn't finish you didn't send it yet and you want to finish it later to send a new message you will click new message type the email address of the person you want to email maybe you want to email me your teacher it's vmellows at palomar.edu you can type a subject maybe you're going to be absent from class you can't come to class because you're sick And then you can write me a message. Today I have a fever of 100 and a sore, you have a sore throat. I cannot come to class today. I hope you understand. Take care. You want your closing, comma, and maybe in your full name. Okay? And usually we leave a line in between the greeting, the message, and then the closing. Okay? Let's say you didn't finish yet. Okay? Um, this will automatically get saved in the drafts. So if I go back here to drafts, here's the message I was working on um, that I didn't finish. Yeah. So you can always finish it later. Okay, and you can read it over, check it, and when you're ready, you click send. There's also other things down here. For example, you can make text bold or you can highlight it or change the color of the font. You can insert bullet points or numbers. You can insert emojis, smiley faces, pictures, and attachments. We'll learn more about these in this class. Okay, when you're happy with your message, click send. After, sometimes I go to the sent items to check that that, that message was sent. Okay, I encourage you to practice using your Palomar email so that you improve in this important skill. Bye.